Hi boys and girls, how are you? This is your coach, Noel, and I'm so excited to be working with you today on this math lesson. Parents, I want to welcome you. Boys and girls, let's go ahead and get started, okay? So what we're doing today is we're doing long division by two digit divisors. And let's go ahead and let's go over these sample problems. What we're going to go over right now is sample problem number one, which is 8,069 divided by 31. So let's stay on the left-hand side, okay? Let's stay here, all right? So I always like to put my pretend multiplication sign. That helps me out. And let's get started. So I've got 31 into 8. Can 31 go into 8? No. So I'm going to move on. Can 31 go into 80? Yes, it can. How many times? Exactly. We need to figure that out. So, this is what I do. This is a, a little trick that I do. I just, for a second, I cover up this one right here. I cover up the zero right here. Okay, and then now I have three into eight. Can you do that? Yeah, right? How many times can three go into eight? Well, I know that three times two is six, and three times three is nine. So, it's not going to be three, it's going to be two. Okay? 3 times 2 is 6. So now what I do is, let's practice good habits, boys and girls. I have to check and make sure that that's correct, okay? Because we don't want to pass it. Now, let's see. 31 times 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. We have 62. That's less than 80. That's definitely going to work. So I'm going to put my 62 here. And don't forget the 2 up here. 31 times 2 equals 62. I'm going to put my 62 there my subtraction, my line, and then I'm going to subtract. Well, can't do that. I need to borrow. That becomes a 7. That will become a 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. 7 take away 6 is 1. So here I have 18. Now I'm going to drop down this 6. Now I have 186. So let's take a look and see what happens next, okay? So let's recap, okay? Can 31 go into 8? No. Can 31 go into 80? Yes, it can. I'm going to cover up this number, this 1. I'm going to cover up that 0. Okay, I know that 3 can go into 8 two times. So I'm going to move over here, and I'm going to do 31 times 2 is 62. So I'm going to put my 2 there, my 62 there. Then I'm going to subtract. 80 minus 62 is 18. I drop down this 6. Now I have 186. So again, I'm going to go ahead and cover up this 1 for a second. I'm going to cover up that 6 for a second right there. And then I'm going to see how many times can 3 go into 18. Well, I know that 3 times 6 is 18, so it's going to go into it 6 times. But I have to check. 31 times 6 is 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. Look at that. 186. Isn't that awesome? So. 31 times 6 is 186. I'm going to put my 186 right there, my minus, my line, and I'm going to subtract. 186 minus 186 equals 0. Then I'm going to drop down that 9, okay? Let's go ahead and recap, okay, boys and girls? So 31 goes into 80 two times. 80 minus 62 is 18. I'm going to drop down that 6. Now I have 186. 31 goes into 186 six times, uh, and 31 times 6 is 186. So now I do 186 minus 186 equals 0. I'm going to drop down that 9. 31, how many times can 31 go into 9? Well, it, it can go into 9. Well, it can 0 times. And take a look right here, boys and girls. Because I've got this number here, I'm going to need to put a number there. So 31 times 0 equals 0, and 9 take away 0 is 9. That's our remainder. So the answer is 260 remainder 9. And that's it. Let's take a look at another example, okay? Here I have 1,998 divided by 75. I'm going to put my pretend multiplication sign right there. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up this 5 in the 1's place, 
and I'm going to see what I need to divide by. Well, actually, first, okay, let's, you know, take one step back for a second, and let's see. Can 75 go into 1? The answer is no. It's way too big. Can 75 go into 19? It's still too big. Can 75 go into 199? Yes, it can. How many times? We're going to find out. Again, let's use this trick. Let's cover up this 5 for a second. Let's cover up this 9 also in the 1's place. And now I'm going to ask myself, can 7 go into 19? I know that 7 times 2 is 14. I know that 7 times 3 is 21. It's not going to be 7 times 3 because that's going to be too big. I know it's going to be 2, but I have to multiply it by 75. So I'm going to move to the side. Let's practice good habits. This only takes a minute. And then let's multiply. 75 times 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 1 goes there. 0 goes there. 2 times 7 is 14. Plus 1 is 15. 15 goes there. So 75 times 2 is 150. Okay? So 75 times 2 is 150. 199 minus 150 is 49. 9 take away 0 is 9. 9 take away 5 is 4. 49. Then I'm going to drop down this 8. Okay, so let's drop it down and let's recap, okay? 75 goes into 199 two times. 75 times 2 is 150. 199 minus 150 is 49. Now I'm going to drop down this 8. Now I have 498. And let's take a look again. I'm going to cover up this 5. I'm going to cover up this 8 in the 1's place. And I need to ask myself, how many times does 7 go into 49? Well, I know that 7 times 7 equals 49. So again, let's practice good habits. Let's move to the side. Let's multiply 75 times 7 and see what happens. Well, 7 times 5 is 35. 3 goes there. 5 goes there. 7 times 7 is 49. Plus 3 is 52. Here I have 525. Well, that's going to be way too big. So, I'm so glad I checked. Aren't you glad we checked? Yeah, it just takes a minute. Make sure you check. Let's practice good habits, okay? So now, because 7 is too big, I'm going to try 6. 75 times 6, okay? 6 times 5 is 30. 3 goes there. 0 goes there. 6 times 7 is 42, plus 3 is 45. 75 times 6 is 450. So that's going to work. That's the closest we're going to get to 498, okay, without going over. So 75 times 6, let's put the 6 there, equals 450. Let's put 450 there, our minus sign, our line, and now let's subtract. 8 take away 0 is 8. 9 take away 5 is 4. So our answer is 26, remainder 48. And that's it, boys and girls. That's it. It's not that bad. It takes a, it takes a few steps, but I've, I've given you the recipe. I've given you the strategy, and I want to remind you of a couple things. Number one, you can always view this video as often as you'd like. You can go over the lesson. You can ingest it. You can absorb it. You can think about it. Watch it as often as you need to, boys and girls. I'm your coach. I'm here to help you. I want you to be successful. The second thing I want you to take note of is this, that you have, actually your parent has 20 pages worth of practice problems, so you can practice. Now, I want you to remember something. Please don't do all 20 pages in one day. I don't want you to do that. I want you to do maybe one or two pages a week. That's all I want you to do. Remember, this is not a race. We're going to get to the finish line, but let's do it correctly. And you've got so many other types of concepts that you need to master that you have to practice that it's just going to be way too much. So let's take our time. Let's do it right. Okay, boys and girls? And again, remember, if you get stuck, go back to the lesson, view the lesson, do the uh, practice problems, and I assure you that you're going to get better in no time. The only thing that might get you a little bit confused is one thing. That's if you have a hard time multiplying. If you do, 
if you don't know all of your multiplication facts, then I have to be honest with you, it is going to be a little bit difficult. So you have to absolutely master your multiplication facts. No doubt about it. We want to be able to automatically know what 7 times 9 is, what 9 times 9 is, what 11 times 11 is right away without even having to think about it. Boys and girls, I want to make your life easier. So please, practice your multiplication facts. Let's memorize them, okay? You're an outstanding student, and outstanding students always put forth an outstanding effort, and they do whatever it takes to get the job done. And I know you can do it, okay? Parents, I want to thank you so very much again from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to help your child improve in the area of math. Boys and girls, We'll see you very, very soon at our next math lesson. And in the meantime, everyone, please take care. Bye-bye.